Well, uh, thank you all for uh, for coming in. Just wanted to kind of update you on uh, where we are and a lot of the work that's uh, continuing on uh, on budget issues. Uh, as we've discussed before, uh, obviously since almost after adjournment last year, uh, you know the house has been preparing for and planning for what we expected to be a, an even more challenging uh, budget year than what we had last year. Uh, that work has uh, has continued. Uh, our members are uh, as engaged in this process as I've ever seen them. Uh, all of our subcommittee chairs are leading uh, working groups on numerous different topics, whether it's apportionments uh, off the top to uh, tax credits to uh, revenue enhancements. As we mentioned, everything's on the table, and we have working groups looking at, at all of those options and providing constant feedback to our, our caucus at both regular caucus meetings and additional caucus meetings that we're, we're having. So uh, a great deal of, uh, of information as, as we continue to move toward uh, having, a, uh, having a budget agreement with the, uh, the Senate and the Governor uh, later in, in session. But I just wanted to update you on a great deal of work that's gone on on our side. Um, obviously, it's a lot of information uh, that uh, members are trying to digest. The situation is incredibly serious, as we, uh, as we all know. Um, we have $1.3 billion less to build our budget than we did the, uh, the year before. And uh, we're also mindful of, uh, of what has happened since 2007 to many of our agencies. You know, we've had uh, major reductions uh, to many of these agencies in order to get uh, more dollars to, uh, to education and to increase funding to, uh, to our schools uh, because they're a priority. Uh, but as we're preparing uh, this, uh, this budget, we're mindful of, of the fact that some of these agencies have had um, you know 30 percent now of their budget reduced or, or more with the um, the revenue failure in particular uh, obviously the impact uh, continues on some of those uh, agencies uh, emergency management 29.95 percent uh, less money than their budget in 2007 so you know a significant amount for an agency that obviously uh, important particularly in light of the storms and the tornadoes uh, yesterday uh, and the same goes for you know the Corporation Commission, 27.70% uh, reduction since 2007, dealing with earthquake issues and and other things. Department of Environmental Quality, just another example, at 28.85%. And obviously, there's a there's a long list. Uh, even with the um, the revenue failure and after the rainy day funds are applied, our schools are still up 1.18% since 2007. Uh, but it's because it, they're a priority. And uh, that is why the, uh, the House has taken a position that as we're building this budget for next year, and because we have heard now uh, from a lot of school districts around the state, superintendents, our members are receiving emails, uh, that many are, are, uh, are building budgets based on uh, guesstimates. Uh, where this number came from, I have no idea, but anywhere from 10 to 15 to 20 percent cuts in, in their state appropriation. So they're beginning the process of doing uh, reduction in force hearings uh, with their school boards. Uh, I've sat through those uh, before. Those are obviously uh, emotional roller coasters, not only for the teachers, but for the parents and students and others that, that come to support uh, their teachers when school boards go through that, um, that experience. Um, and as we were hearing that schools were discussing uh, a possible cut in their state appropriation of you know, 10, 15, 20 percent, um, it became apparent to us that we needed to provide some, some clarity on that issue. Education has been a priority. It continues to be a priority. The budget situation is serious, uh, but the position that the, um, the House is taking is that we will not support uh, any cuts to common education any greater than 5 percent. Our hope is to get that number down uh, even smaller, and we're doing a lot of work and have been for many months to try to figure out how to do that. Uh, but for planning purposes for, for schools and so that they can avoid uh, putting uh, teachers through reduction force hearings that are unnecessary because they're planning 15 and 20 percent cuts, uh, we just want to provide some clarity that the, the, the House's <laughs> position is that um, those uh, the House will not support uh, anything greater than a 5%, and our hope is that it's even less. Now, that's 5%. Again, keep in mind that after the rainy day funds are applied, uh, the, uh, the cut to, um, to common education after the rainy day fund was applied uh, was 2.34%, uh, I believe, was the, the actual number. So uh, the revenue failure occurred twice. We backfilled $51 million. And so uh, the actual cut to common ed was 2.34 percent. So uh, if you if you say that the bottom dollar no more than five percent on top of that, so you're you're at you know 7.22 when you adjust with all of their other sources, uh, it would be no greater than 7.22 percent from the original FY16 
or 5% uh, over their current appropriation after the, um, the revenue failure and after the rainy day funds have been, been applied. So just wanted to offer that, that clarity because I know a lot of schools <coughs> are getting to that point where they have to notify teachers and uh, they're in a unique situation where they, they need that information and um, just wanted to provide that clarity as well. But um, a lot of work, uh, not just on education, but on uh, all areas of the budget, all of our agencies, uh, and uh, work going to hopefully reduce uh, those, those cuts to, uh, to other areas of the budget uh, as well. But just wanted to mention that one in particular.